Earlier today, the NBA announced that they would be taking major steps toward honoring the late, great Bill Russell. Across the entire league, Bill Russell's number six is going to be retired, meaning no player can wear it once again. Um, they did say, or I should say, Sham said that people that wear the number six will be um, like grandfathered in. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. Sounds like it's going to be like they can wear it, but no one else will be able to wear it. Um, but that really wasn't super clear. I think more details about that will be um, will probably be, you know, figured out and released as they they kind of advance. But in addition to retiring the number six league wide, they will also be putting a logo, a Celtics Cloverleaf logo with uh, the number six in it on the floor. And every team will have a number six patch this upcoming uh, 2023 season. I think this is a, a massive, a massive win for the league. I think Bill Russell is exactly the type of player that deserves to be the first to have his number retired across the NBA. Um, there were a couple times I thought it might have happened sooner. In particular, uh, Kobe Bryant's eight. It kind of seemed like in the in the moment after he after his passing, that the NBA was going to just you know make that take that step and just retire the eight. I think it might have been a little too tough because he did have the both numbers and he was so su su so successful in with both numbers. Can't even speak. Um, but you saw a lot of players after his passing that just change their numbers out of respect. And I think we're going to see probably something similar with the league announcing this retirement of the number six. Uh, there are a few prominent players that do wear number six. Um, right now, the biggest one is, of course, LeBron James. Then you have Alex Caruso, Chris Stapps Porzingis, Lou Williams, Montrez Harrell, Lance Stevenson, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Hamadou Diallo, Bryn Forbes, Quentin Grimes, Jalen McDaniel, Jordan McLaughlin, Kenyon Martin Jr., Moses Brown, David Duke Jr., Melvin Frazier, Keon Johnson, Javante Smart, and Rajon Tucker. Uh, a lot of those guys probably not going to have a problem changing the numbers. I'll be really curious to see what happens with um, LeBron, obviously, and then like Caruso and Porzingis. Like, it's not like the number six is their identity at all but like they're a big enough player that like usually what the NBA does if you want to change your jersey is you have to buy back the stock of all of the jerseys that are out there LeBron was originally going to um change his number back or when he changed his number back from 23 to 6 he was going to um he was going to change it like a year sooner and he didn't because it was like hey the league has like enough LeBron James 23 jerseys made already for the next two seasons so hold off a year while we move some inventory um so that there's special like instances like that where it's happened and it hasn't been a smooth transition uh LaMelo Ball just recently changed his number back as well um so you know we'll see we'll see what happens but I think the NBA is probably going to make some sort of exception here or make some sort of adjustment to the rule just so that they, like, if players want to do this as tribute and give up these numbers, then, you know, they should be allowed to without having to buy all of their jerseys back or, you know, anything like that or follow the, like, deadline to announce it by. Like, they should be able to accommodate that, especially if it's like this out of out of respect. Um, I do really like the patches. I think it's funny that the Lakers and all of these Celtics rivals are going to have Celtics green six patches. Um, but it's bigger than that. It's bigger than rivalries and stuff like that. I was thinking about it because Bill Russell is the third player in professional sports in the U.S. to have his number retired across the league. There's only two other times that this has happened, and it was Jackie Robinson with the number 42 in Major League Baseball, and it was Wayne Gretzky with the number 99 in NHL. And... It's interesting to think of of Bill Russell in those terms. I don't remember who I was listening to who made this point. Um, I wish I did. But someone was saying the, the big thing about the NBA is it's only 75 years old like this, as we know it. And a lot of, almost all of the legends, except for like three or four, 
from the NBA's All-75 team are still alive. And this was including Bill Russell up until the moment he passed. Like, it was only, like, Will Chamberlain and Kobe Bryant and, like, one or two other players from the 75 best players in the history of the league that had passed away. So a lot of them were really accessible. And Bill Russell was at every big game. He gave out the finals MVP trophy in June. Like, it's crazy to think that, you know, the impact he had on professional sports in America is, you know, is wildly culturally significant. And it was not that long ago. Um, I would equate it to to Jackie Robinson with breaking the color barrier in baseball because Bill Russell would go play night in and night out and then leave and be forced to stay like in worse hotel rooms or forced to sleep in cars or would have to sit outside to eat or wouldn't be allowed in with his white teammate. Like he faced like the, the absolute like brunt of racism and segregation while he was like putting together one of the greatest careers and greatest like runs of winning that we've ever seen 11 championships for the man uh player coach champion player champion did basically everything you could want to do and had to endure all of this stuff outside of the the grind of playing professional sports in like a pair of flat converse in commercial flights so it's interesting to think like Man, it's it's crazy that Bill Russell is the one that that finally gets the NBA to do this, but his impact and and everything that happened with his career, everything that is encapsulated in his career makes it kind of a no-brainer. Like I'm really thankful that he he lived as long as he did past everything and he got to get to a point where he was so respected by his peers and was able to receive that that adulation and that love that he deserved for all of his accomplishments uh both on and off the court i think it would have been a shame if he was someone that had you know passed away young and never got to really you know get the full respect that he deserved so I think that this is a fitting tribute. This is something that every team and every player should be absolutely on board with. I doubt anyone's going to have anything bad to say. But really, it just got me thinking about, you know, his impact and how recent it all was that that he was playing and that he was dealing with these things. Like when you think of like Jackie Robinson and, and the Major League Baseball color barrier, you think of like black and white footage and all this stuff but like bill russell it's like 45 years ago 50 years ago like it's just it it was crazy and it got me in this whole like back and forth thinking and i just i really i really respect the nba for taking this step i saw a couple people say like oh i don't think it's you know why do all of this but i think that might have even just been people trying to troll because at the end of the day, when you think of winning and when you think of great players, like, yeah, you think Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, those types of guys. But, like, Bill Russell was more successful than all of them. And he deserves that that recognition and that, that uh, credit for bringing the league as far along as he did. And I think this is a fitting tribute. I don't think anyone should want to wear the number six again, really, now that it's being retired league wide I, I would imagine none of these players like if I was one of these players no matter who I was like if even if the NBA says okay you have to buy back your jerseys that are available so we don't take a loss if I'm LeBron or Alex Caruso or Chris Stapps Porzingis if I'm one of those top tier players wearing six I think it's it's worth the money to uh to honor the man I think the uh, the floor decal is a great idea. The jersey patches, I hope that's something. I'm really, like, when I buy jerseys, it's not often, but when I buy jerseys, I like to get, like, the exact thing. Like, I, that's one thing I, I always want. Like, I want the ad patch. I want whatever. If it's what they wear on the court, like, that is what I want. I don't want the, like, Fanatics brand or whatever else they have. So, like... It's few and far, but, but, like, say they put jerseys that, like, I hope this is something that is made available to, um, to fans, because I think that, you know, there would probably be a wide contingent of fans that would also want to pay tribute to his career, his accomplishments, and his, his place in history, both in the NBA and in just the, the world, in U.S. history. 
Uh, it was an incredible life and an incredible career. And I think the, the only way to pay tribute properly is to do something equally incredible. And, you know, I think this is a great step. I would imagine there'll be more tributes and things to honor him throughout. And I think also part of it is just because, like I said earlier, we don't have a lot of NBA legends that have passed away. Like, as they pass away, as they get older, it's going to be important to honor them because they've been such a constant. Like, their accomplishments need to be need to be remembered and preserved and appreciated uh, even, you know, even long after they're gone. Because the NBA, 75 years, uh, not as old as some of the older sports, Major League Baseball, the NFL, all of those, like... The NBA has always been really good about paying tribute to its own. And we saw that when Kobe passed away. I hate to go back to that because it is a completely different circumstance. But they had the All-Star game changed. They had the jersey numbers changed. The All-Star MVP was renamed after Kobe. So I would imagine some of their tributes to take place throughout the season to pay respects to Bill Russell. But these are just the perfect announcement. And I really think that if there was a player that was going to get this tribute and get this honor. It's impossible to think of anyone else that would deserve it um, more so than Bill Russell, just because, you know, like I said, he, he encapsulated everything that the NBA could be at its best uh, on and off the court, professionally and personally. Uh, he was someone that had every reason to, to just give up and turn his back and just say, you know, to hell with it, it's not worth it. And instead, he fought forward, and he played through it, and he created some of the most iconic moments in the league's history, and he, you know, broke a lot of barriers in that regard. So, I think this is a huge win for the league. I think this is a fitting tribute, and I really, honestly, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else you can say except thank you for, for everything, and long live uh, Bill Russell.